with today's technology are we capable enough to divert a large incoming asteroid in short can we survive a dinosaur like situation a good question so what happened to the dinosaurs is that an enormous asteroid or comet impacted the earth it is believed to be around 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter an enormous space rock which hit the earth in mexico's yucatan uh, peninsula we have found the impact crater it's called the chicxulub impact crater so this is what happened during the time of the dinosaurs about 65 million years ago and it caused a disastrous uh cataclysm on the planet and a great number of species a significant majority of the species of animals and plants on the planet were wiped out because of this a few survived and most of the dinosaurs died out in this so this is the prospect that uh, looms upon humanity because sooner or later this sort of thing is going to happen again so are we capable enough to divert such a large incoming asteroid so um, how would we do that the uh, popular science fiction movie strategy to deal with this is to launch a nuclear missile at this incoming asteroid however you find that even if you were to detonate a big very powerful nuclear bomb maybe 50 megatons or so at an as- or near an asteroid it would merely fragment the asteroid and instead of one large asteroid hitting the earth you would have a bunch of fragments hitting the earth in multiple multiple locations so it's not the best strategy i think the best way to divert an asteroid is to use something called a gravity tractor so what you would do is you would send a spacecraft near the asteroid uh maybe a year or so before it's supposed to inter- intersect with the earth's orbit and you would use the gravity of this sa- uh, satellite or spacecraft to slowly 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 nudge the incoming asteroid away from earth's from the trajectory of the earth's orbit so this is called a uh, gravity tractor or uh, so that's what w- what could basically deflect it just enough so that it will miss the earth so this is theoretically possible uh, have we ever tried this on an asteroid just to see if it works we have never tried it and uh, recently i think there was some uh, analysis done whether we can we are able to prevent something like this happening and it it was found that it, as of today we are not able we don't have the ability to prevent a massive asteroid strike so as of today with the technology that we have we do have the technology theoretically to deflect an asteroid provided we know it's coming and we are able to predict this the thing is that there are so many asteroids in the solar system many of them are near earth asteroids some of them are of particular concern for the down the line 10 20 30 50 years down the line so there there are these uh, uh, space watching programs asteroid watching programs that keep track of these uh, potentially dangerous asteroids but there are so many asteroids in the solar system millions and millions of them that's it, it's impossible to tra- to know about every one of these so there's always the possibility that something will come out of somewhere and could possibly uh, pose a significant danger to earth so in short as of today we uh, basically don't have the capability to to divert a large incoming asteroid if today if ast- uh, astronomers were to di- were to find suddenly a new asteroid that's going to hit the earth in 6 months time we are most likely doomed most likely it will be very difficult to scramble a mission a space mission in time to do something about this if you find something that's going to happen maybe one year down the line it may give us a better chance ideally we want something to be known at least a few years beforehand so that we can plan properly and in that case it should be possible to divert or deflect an incoming asteroid but at short notice it's basically impossible so one hopes it doesn't happen any time in the near future this sort of thing happens once in about 65 to 100 million years so it's been 65 million years since the last time it happened so so it's best that we are prepared for this